Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and I am fucking angry. I mean, I'm here to review the True Blood Season 5 uh, finale, which uh, my friend, we were sitting watching the episode last night, and the first thing he said when the episode was over, and uh, I quote, what a fucking bullshit fucking finale that was. I agree. In fact, I could probably stop the review right now because I honestly, it's almost not even worth the effort. Um, not worth the fucking effort at all, to be honest. I'll just get the the um, the first couple of bullshit things out of the way. Let's just talk about Alicide. And, um, yeah, who cares? He just, like, he was a part of the group, and then he just, like, bounced out of it for the last three episodes, and we were supposed to give a shit. He beat up the guy that he got his ass kicked by a few weeks ago. Um, you know, I don't... I, I Whatever, I don't care. I, I just don't care about it at all. Uh, the whole thing was useless. Uh, he drinks V, and it gives him no side, effect, side effects except super strength and, um, you know, cheesy speeches, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, fuck that storyline, I don't care. Alright, the Andy stuff was amusing, you know, the whole thing. Uh, but the amusing stuff felt like it was hiding the fact that the whole thing was useless. And, um, I didn't care. It was nice to see, like, Lafayette and Arlene, like, yeah, I, I laughed a couple of times, and it was amusing, but just, like, it... it took up like a chunk of the middle of the episode and it's like this is a finale what are you doing and like that's the setup for next season like he's got what he's got four kids like what's he what's gonna happen with him and holly like who gives a who gives a shit as and uh, who gives a shit some of the good stuff was tyra and pam you know making out um they've had a fun storyline all season and jessica's little one-liner like oh i knew it was Amusing, uh, yeah, so that was fine, I enjoyed that, I liked, you know, Tara sticking up for Pam earlier in the episode, um, one of the other good things was Sam and Luna, again, all season, very good, uh, it was a nice little trick that they played with, uh, Luna being Steve Newland, that was well done, um, and I think the best vampire death on this show was the one with, um, the, the, hick Sharon Osbourne woman that Sam uh, just burst that was uh, yeah that was that was good there and I liked them the whole season they were they were fine and um, you know lame cliffhanger with Luna like passing out or some shit it's like you know, that's the cliffhanger like you think that's a cliffhanger uh, Jason um, we'll just call it a character assassination let's just turn him to a fucking idiot and uh, yeah just call it a day for the season that, that doesn't leave a bad taste in anyone's mouth yeah, yeah great fucking job Russell Clearly, they had absolutely no idea what to do with him. Uh, and if that's the case, then you don't bring him back. One of the reasons I was looking forward to this season was to see what he would do. This is a character that deserves to just go on an absolute rampage. You know, he should have came back, you know, even better and stronger and more furious and all this shit than before. Instead, he went out with an absolute whimper and just, he should have got out in a blaze of glory. Instead, a 1,000-year-old vampire can quickly stake a 3,000-year-old vampire. Isn't that, like, not how this should work? Um, and I bet they thought they were, like, being, like, brilliant by killing him in the first five, you know, minutes of the episode. Uh, instead, it wasn't brilliant. At least not for me, it wasn't brilliant. It actually threw me off the whole rest of the episode. I was just like, well, I don't like this finale already. Great. Great job. Great job, guys. Um... I just saw Dennis O'Hare on the Into the Woods Shakespeare in the Park thing. Um, and I was thinking that, uh, like, oh, I saw him in that. You know, I hope he has a good finale. It should be a good week for him. Just, I, I can't believe that, that was, that's what they do. That's what they did with him. This whole season, and that's what it amounted to. Absolute, like, nothing. Then why did they bring him back? Great character. Shitty end. Um, just not only ruins stuff for this season, but ruins it even from season three. Because now you're going to watch season three again. You can see him get put in, like, the cement and go, oh, yeah, he ends, you know, he dies like a bitch. Great. No answer on Warlow, by the way, so thanks, guys. Awesome. Salome, another old vampire, had another bitch death. Um, yeah, you know, and a trick that I saw coming that Bill did. She couldn't, so way to go. Uh, as far as Bill goes, uh, just for a moment, I thought he was dead. And if he was, it would almost save some face. Because I would say, like, well, at least that changes some things up. Maybe I, maybe I wouldn't feel Maybe I would, like, think about it throughout the whole series and think that's a shitty way to end that character. But 
at the rate we're going here, I would have preferred that, I think. Instead, he, he just t 1000 his way into, like, Billeth or some shit. That's what I've heard it online, Billeth, whatever. And, um, just what a shitty cliffhanger. You know, run! Like, just a season that was so promising for me, um, especially after last season, just went down the shitter so fast that it is mind-boggling, stunning, and I couldn't be more pissed off about it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I won't watch it next year because I don't want to, you know, you never want to say never. Uh, I sure as shit don't know what I'll be doing next June. I can't tell you that right now. But um, they're lucky they have a 10-month break because maybe I'll, I'll feel less, you know, pissed off about it in 10 months from now. But, um, yeah, I'm close to being done with the show. This is Alan Ball left the show in absolute, like, shambles. I can't believe it. From something like Six Feet Under to something like this, it's just such a downward spiral. You know what? If somebody out there, if all of you, or whoever loved the finale, loved this season, good, great. Um, I'm glad you liked it. That's a good thing. But, um, you know, this is my opinion on it. I didn't like it. Um, I'm not trying to bash, like, your favorite show or anything like that. I just, um, I'm pretty much done. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you thought. Uh, argue with me if you want, whatever. Have a nice, calm discussion about it in the comments section and everything. And, uh, yeah. You know, True Blood's over. I still got one more week of Breaking Bad, and then I have to wait for Boardwalk Empire and Dexter and Walking Dead to start. So, yeah. Later, guys.